I just bless God still again today, thanking Him for His Word. Amen. The Word of God. And I bless God, amen, this morning. Even as we're starting out, thank you, Lord God. We just want to encourage you, amen, through the Word of God. This is always, amen, what we want to do is encourage you through the Word. Amen. Praise God. And in the Word of God, in Joshua, Joshua chapter 1, verse 8, this is actually the King James Version. The Word of God, and I know you're familiar with it, but y'all, we just, we just go in there. We're walking together. Amen. The Word of God says, this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth amen but thou shalt meditate therein day and night and thou amen that thou may observe to do according to all that is written therein for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous and then thou shalt have what good success Amen. I bless God because the word of God, amen, and even understanding that was Joshua chapter 1 verse 8, amen, the word meditate, the word meditate is from the Hebrew word haga, 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 amen, that word is spelled H-A-G-A-H, haga, haga, which means to mutter, it means to mutter, it means to make a sound, it means to recite, it means to, it means to memorize, and we are to memorize, amen, the word, memorize, and even in Psalms, amen, very familiar passage, Psalms 1, amen, verses 1 and 3, and this is also the King James Version, the word of God says, blessed is the man that walk not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stand in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful. But guess what? His delight is in the law of the Lord. In the law of the Lord. And the word of God says, and in his law, there it is again, in his law does he meditate. Amen. And we meditate, thank you, Lord God, in his word. We meditate. Amen. We haga. Thank you, Lord God. H-A-G-H. Haga. Amen. Day and night. Amen. And the word of God is telling us, praise God, and we shall be, we're going to be like a tree that's planted by the rivers of water. Amen. That bring forth his fruit. Amen. In his season, his leaf shall, amen, praise God, also shall not wither, and whatsoever he do shall prosper. Look at that. Amen. These scriptures is, amen, confirming. Amen. Here it is, the word of God telling us what we need to do. Meditate meditate and even to understand amen an acacia acacia tree acacia tree it can be found in just about any desert in the world and it says that acacia tree they are known amen for their ability to survive in harsh conditions this is acacia tree an acacia tree amen they have these thick uh thick trunks amen praise god and foliage and, and, and even in studying this, praise God, uh, thank you, Lord God, I had his name before me. Yeah, Dave, Dave Adamson, who actually has devotionals about, you know, Hebrew words. But even here to understand, amen, as we were saying, they have thick, you know, these thick, uh, strong trunks and foliage. It said they grow in tough times and they bear fruit, amen, when rain comes because of their deep roots. And even uh, to understand as we share the word of God, you know, about meditating and we came out of, amen, Psalms 1, amen, praise God in that particular passage in verse 3, praise God, and knowing that when we meditate, amen, praise God, no matter what's taking place in our lives to understand this acacia tree, amen, it symbolizes resilience. It, it, it symbolizes, amen, strength, amen, praise, perseverance, there it is, <laughs> my sister, ah, yes, perseverance, tenacity, amen, these are things, praise God, this is what happens, amen, when we meditate or when we keep the word of God on the forefront of our mind. There's a reason for this because this is the thing, many times when situations and circumstances arise in our lives, just think about it. You know how you practice something over and over again and you go through drills. Sometimes, you know, you prepare your children or try to get your children prepared that, okay, in case of this or that, this should happen. This is what we're going to do. you got an escape plan, you know, for your house. You get what I'm saying? But even in times, praise God, hear what the word of the Lord is telling us. Amen. If we meditate, if we hug God, if we meditate in his word, keep the word of God on the forefront of our mind that, listen, when those tests and trials come, we're not going to forget what God has spoken. Amen. Praise God. We're going to be like this tree, this 
acacia tree, amen, praise God, that is able to survive even in the hottest desert, able to survive, amen, praise God, through some tough times, amen, praise God. But I bless God that even as we've been sharing the word of God and we've been looking at, amen, in the word out of verse Samuel, amen, praise God, concerning David. And don't forget, remember, David is anointed. David is anointed to be what? King. He's anointed to be king. But understand, Amen. As we were moving on in the word of God in 1 Samuel chapter 17, amen, we found out that the Philistines, which is an en- enemy of, of Israel, amen, praise God, they gathered, amen, uh, their armies together for war. They were coming to do war against, amen, the Israelites. And so the Israelites, amen, their soldiers, they all came together as well. And the word of God was letting us know that the Philistines, they were on one on one hill, and the Israelites, they were on the other hill. And the valley, amen, was between them. But even in this The word of God was letting us know that the Philistines, amen, they had a champion fighter. His name was Goliath. We know about Goliath, amen. Goliath, the Bible says he was from Gath, amen, and he was over nine feet tall, amen. And when he uh, he came, amen, out of the Philistine camp, amen, and he had this bronze helmet, you know, his attire. Sometimes, let me tell you, the enemy is going to try to make you afraid, amen. Praise God. Still, again, you can't go by what you see with your natural eyes. Thank you, Lord God. But here he comes with this bronze helmet, amen, on his head. He wore a coat of armor that was made like, amen, scales, amen, on a fish. It says the armor was made of bronze, amen, praise God, and uh, the the, uh, weight, amen, it weighed around about 125 pounds, and it said that Goliath, he wrote, he wore these bronze uh, protectors on his legs, and he had a bronze, uh, bronze jab and all this bronze, it was tied on his back, Amen. And it said that the wooden part of his spear, uh, on his of his spear, it was as big, amen, as a weaver's rod. In other words, it was strong. It was long. Amen. Rounded wood pole. But understand that even the spear, the blade of it was 15 pounds. So here comes Goliath. But but not only this, he had his helper who actually went in front of him carrying his shield. And so each day what Goliath would do, he would come out and he would shout, you know, these challenges to the Israelite soldiers. And even as we said, he asked the question, why are y'all, you know, why all your soldiers, why they lined up? Amen. Why they line up for battle? He said, you are Saul's servants, you know, and I'm a Philistine, so why don't you choose, choose you one man. Send him out here. Send that man out here to fight me. Yeah, y'all know we know about fighting words. Amen. Some of us, we've heard those fighting words, and I told you old school where we, you know, the stick on the shoulder, that was really way, way, way back in the day, you know, uh, elementary school. But however, amen, even when we got a little bit older, y'all know to draw the line in the sand, and I dare you to cross this line. And you know, you you were praying that they didn't cross that line. (laughs) And the truth be told, don't cross the line. God help me. Amen. But praise God to understand, hear what they would do, what he was doing. He was, you know, he was challenging them. And even in his challenge, he was telling them, he said, look, choose your man. Choose you a man, and you choose you a man, he come out to fight me. And if that man kills me, you know, and he wins, then the Philistines, what they're going to do, they're going to become your slaves. But if you kill, if I kill, if I kill, you you know, your man, your man, and, and if I win, praise God, you're going to become our slaves, and you will have, amen, to serve us. And so the Philistines, amen, praise God, even as they were standing there, he was making fun of them. Y'all, we know about trash words. All of us, amen, some of us may have been trash talkers, and some of us have received the trash, amen, talk that came from people. But still to understand, amen, he dared them to send a man out there to fight. And the word of God was letting us know that the Israelite soldiers, when they heard Goliath say this, they were afraid. But even as we shared this word with you on yesterday to know we are no longer slaves, amen, to fear. In the word of God in 1 John chapter 4, amen, 1 John chapter 4, verse 18, King James Version, the word of God tells us there is no fear in love, but perfect love cast out, amen, fear. That's what perfect love do because fear, amen, it has torment. Fear has torment. Thank you, Lord God. And even as the word of God says, he that fear is not made perfect in love. What we're saying is this. Fear is associated, amen, with punishment. That's what fear is. It's associated with punishment. And those who fear punishment, they have not fully developed 
Amen. A relationship with God. We have developed a relationship with God. We are saved. We have given our life to God and we have no reason to fear. Amen. Torment. Thank you, Lord God, because of our relationship. Who are you in relationship with? Thank you, Lord God. If you're in relationship with God, we ain't worried about this. Amen. But I bless God because still, even in the word of God, we understood that the three oldest sons of Jesse, amen, praise God, they went with Saul to the war. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And we understand, praise God, that David, David was left with Saul. Amen. Praise God, who was, you know, became, amen, an armor bearer for Saul. But from time to time, he went, praise God, he went back, amen, to take care of his father's sheep in Bethlehem. But even in the word of God, and this is where we are right now, thank you, Lord God, we push it. Amen. But I bless God for his word. Amen. And still, even in the word of God, thank you, Father, that as in in Samuel, 1 Samuel, praise God, chapter 17. Amen. Praise God. This is what happened where his father sent him to uh, take some food. Amen. But also check on, you know, to see what was going on. And as David go, but understand, he did not leave his sheep unattended. He had somebody watching those sheep because, amen, praise God, David was a shepherd. And even as the word of God says, David was a man after God's own heart, but also keep in mind, David was anointed, thank you, Lord God, to be king. And I bless God because even as David goes, amen, he makes it there, amen, and he hears, thank you, Lord God, he hears, amen, all of this uh, commotion, praise God, let's look at it, amen, praise God, verse 23, it says, while David was taking his brothers, uh, uh, talking to his brothers, the Philistine champion, he came out, amen, praise God, and there was Goliath. There he was again, and he shouted, amen, against Israel as usual, and David heard. David heard what he said. Amen. Praise God. And when we look at the word of God, amen, down in verse 26, it said, David asked the men that was there. He said, what did, what did he say? <laughs> Y'all know what, 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 what are you saying? You know, and here it is, amen, praise God, to understand, amen, there was, he heard that there was a reward for whoever, amen, was able, praise God, kill, to kill, amen, this, this Philistine, amen, and take the shame from Israel, praise God. So even as David is inquiring about this, his older brother, the Bible says that his older brother, Eliab, amen, Eliab, Eliab, thank you, Lord God, Eliab. Eliab, I have to slow it down, y'all. Eliab, amen. He gets upset and he's upset with David, amen. Well, what are you here for? Amen. And, and David is asking the question, what did I do now? What did I do? He said, I didn't do anything wrong. I was only talking, you know, and he wanted to find out, amen, what was going on. Thank you, Lord God. And even as they answered, praise God, amen, praise God, of what, amen, from what David Uh, actually heard, and even David, amen, he said, David, amen, praise God, some of the men, praise God, as David, amen, he was talking, and he talked about what it is he had already done, amen, because he was, amen, a shepherd, amen, praise God, he talked about how it was, amen, at one point in time, amen, thank you, Lord God, that when uh, the the, uh, uh, animals, the, the bear, amen, and the lion came, amen, to the flock, and David went after him and killed him, amen, with his bare hands, his bare hands, but you got to know, praise God, that word got back to Saul, amen, and Saul wanted to know who, amen, praise God, let's go in the word, amen, praise God, let's go in here, I want to put it in your hearing, thank you, Lord God, verse uh, Samuel, amen, praise God, let's pick it up, amen, thank you, Lord God, verse 34, thank you, Lord God, amen, thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, let's start at verse 30, I'm going to start at verse 33, Amen. The word of God says, and Saul said to David, amen. No, let's, let's back it up just a little bit. Amen. Because we're telling you this story, but I know you know the story, but let's just put it still again. Amen. And you're hearing in verse 31, it says, and when the words, amen, verse 31 in, in chapter, amen, 17, it says, and when the words were heard, which David spoke, they rehearsed them before Saul, and he sent for him. So Saul sent him for David. And David said to Saul, let no man's heart fail, amen, because of him. Don't be afraid. He's still saying, don't be afraid. Amen. That servant, I'll go out. I'll fight this Philistine. And the Bible says, amen, and Saul said to David, you're not able to go against the Philistine to fight. You can't fight him for years, amen. You, you're just a youth. 
Amen. Here it is again, y'all. We're saying you can't be moved by what you see with your natural eye because this is what Saul was looking at in the natural. He's saying you're just a youth. And here's this man who is a man of war. He's been a man of war from his youth. And so David, he shares the story how, you know, he kept his father's sheep. Amen. Praise God. And when that lion and bear, amen, took the lamb out of the flock, amen, the word of God says in thirty in verse 35, I went out, I went out after him and I smoked him and delivered it out of the mouth. And when he arose, amen, against me, I caught him by the beard and I beard and I smoked him and slew him. David is telling what he's done. This is not a makeup story. This is what David has done. And still to understand what the word of God says, amen, that David was a man. And after God's own heart. Amen. Thank you, Lord God. And in verse 36, the word of God says, Thy servant, he said, I slew both the lion and the bear. And this, here it is, y'all, in verse 36, this uncircumcised Philistine shall be as one of them, seeing that he hath defied, amen, the armies of the living God. What is David saying? David is saying, when he calls him this uncircumcised Philistine, he's saying, he ain't got no relationship with God. What? Thank you, Lord God. We better recognize this morning. We got to know and understand. And this is why, still again, we're saying, no longer are we a slave, amen, to fear. Thank you, Lord God. We are in relationship with God. We serve a mighty God. Thank you, Lord God, who's on the throne. We serve a God that is able to do exceeding abundantly above even what we ask or even think. And I bless God because there was no fear in David. David didn't, it didn't matter to him about Saul saying, you just a child, you just, you just a small boy. Look, he's been fighting since he was a youth himself and he's a man of war. So what? Hallelujah. That's what we got to get that kind of attitude. So what? Thank you, Lord God. It doesn't matter how much or whoever's coming up against us. You got to remember whose side you're on. You got to remember who's fighting for you. You got to remember your relationship. Thank you, Lord God. I'm in relationship with God. Thank you, Father. I have received him as my Lord and Savior. Thank you, Father. And knowing these things, this is what we walk in. We are walking in the anointing of God. And I bless God because even as David made that declaration, this uncircumcised Philistine, thank you, Lord God, he shall be as one of those that I've already fought. Thank you, Lord God. Amen. Praise God. Seeing he has defied, amen, the armies of the living God. And the Bible says that David, amen, said, moreover, the Lord that delivered me out of the paw of the lion and out of the paw of the bear. Hey, hear what the word of the Lord. Hear y'all. Amen. In the name of Jesus, he's going to deliver you out of the hand. Amen. Of whatever Philistine, whatever, praise God, is coming up against you. You got to know God is our deliverer. He's our deliverer. Amen. What I want to say to you today, thank you, Lord God, because again, we see the time. Amen. Praise God. I value your time and I thank God, amen, that you take the time to come here on this conference line and you listening by way of YouTube. But I bless God in the name of Jesus. But what we want to say to you, meditate. Meditate in the name of Jesus. Meditate. Meditate on the word of God. And as you meditate on that word, amen, keeping the word of God on the forefront of your, on the forefront, amen, of your mind, that even when things arise in your life, you're not afraid. You're not allowing, thank you, Lord God, what you're hearing. And you're not allowing what you're seeing because, thank you, Lord God, amen, to understand we are guarding. We are guarding our ear gate, eye gate, mouth gate, amen, thank you, Lord God, words that we speak out of our mouth. We are not allowing what we see, what we hear, amen, to cause us to speak something contrary to what God has already spoken. When you know the word of God, that's what you're going to stand on. So, Father, we thank you still once again today, giving you praise, giving you glory, and giving you all the honor because, Father, Father, you deserve the glory. You deserve all the honor because of who you are. Sovereign God, ruler, maker of everything. Father, we bless you and honor you, Abba, our Father, our Father. You're able to say it. If you're not able to say it, thank you, Lord God. You need to fall on your knees, repent for your sins, and ask him to come into your life. Make him Lord of your life.
your life in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you and we praise you right now. You are the King of kings. You are the Lord of lords. We bless and honor you, Father. Thank you for strength today. Thank you, Lord God, for your sons, your daughters, in the name of Jesus. We're standing on the word, on the word of God. We thank you, Lord God. We're in this word day in, Lord God, and day out. Father, we're going to meditate in your word. And if we meditate in your word, your word, Father, you've already said in the name of Jesus, we will prosper. We're going to be in, in good health. Thank you, Lord God, even as our soul prosper. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you in the name of Jesus still again. We're going to be like that tree, Father, that's planted by the rivers of water. We're going to bring forth, Lord God, fruit in the name of Jesus in our season. We bless and honor you, Lord God, giving you praise in the name of Jesus. Our leaf is not going to wither. We thank you, Lord God. Whatever we do is going to prosper because we're in you. In you, our Savior. In you, our God. And we bless and honor you. Thank you for what, Lord God, Jesus has already done already done. It brings us right back to it. It is already done. What's already done? He did it, y'all. Jesus did it already. Thank you, Lord God. And again, just a reminder, we walk by faith. We're walking by faith, saints of God. Thank you. Every single day you get up, brand new mercy. Brand new. You ain't seen this day before. This is a brand new day. Brand new mercies. Thank you, Lord God. We praise you for this day. Hold your head up. Thank you, Lord God. Now is my head lifted above my enemies. Thank you, Lord God. I thank you, Father, because it's you that causes us to triumph, Lord God, over our enemies. We bless and honor you this day in the mighty matchless name of Jesus. Thank you again for your sons and your daughters. We praise and glorify you, Lord God. Thank you for covering us, traveling mercies. Thank you, Lord God, for those already in the workplace, our children, Lord God, cover. Keep them in the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. We continue in our prayers. We don't cease to pray. We're always praying and covering. Thank you, Lord God, our families, covering loved ones. You're covering that neighbor. You're praying in the name of Jesus. You're praying thank you Lord God and you got to believe the prayers that you pray and understand supplications that are being made before God amen praying always prayers supplications lift it up lift it up before God in the mighty name of Jesus and know that God hears you he hears thank you Lord God the cries of his children thank you Lord God and this is still the confidence we have in him that if we ask anything according to his will which is his word his will is his word and I thank God in the name of Jesus we know that he hears us and not only does he hear us thank you Lord God but we have that what we ask of and I bless God in the name of Jesus again Thank you, Lord God, by the authority of the name of Jesus Christ. We render every demonic spirit, every attack of the enemy against us, our health, family, and finances helpless. It's still powerless. It's still inoperative and still ineffective, and we still decree and declare it. Amen. The word of the Lord. Meditate. Meditate in his word and remember what he said. No weapon formed against you. It cannot, will not, and shall not prosper. Thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. Meditate on the word day and night. Amen. God is still in control. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. It won't work. It won't succeed or prevail. Listen, as you go throughout the day, I pray that you are encouraged by the word of God and the prayer coming from the one of God. Hold on to that word. It's so important that you hold on to God's word. Amen. The safest place in the whole wide world is in the will of God. What is in his word? Listen, as you go throughout today, be encouraged. Encourage others around you. Speak life and not death. Speak victory and not defeat. And know that you are way more than conquerors. You overcomers. You've been brought with the price, the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Live on purpose. Live with the purpose. And live the purpose-driven life. God bless you. We love you all to life. Go in peace.